because we allow a certain thing to happen, it happens. I agree, I mean, of course, there are spirits and things, but they are of the cosmic mind. If you tend to help them and dissolve them, they will not be there. Now, what is the purpose? Let's get to the third phase of this thing. I see, uh, yes, we are very well in time. The third phase is, let's get on to the, the no mind state. It's very subtle. There are three things, three reasons why I give the no mind. I'll just start with the first, most important. As long as there are ripples of thought in your mind's lake, as long as there are ripples of thought in your mind's lake, you cannot see the moon of your delight. If you go out on a moonlit night to an alpine lake with the hills and the trees and the stars and the moon and throw a big boulder into the lake, the image of the moon will be shattered into countless fragments all over the lake, such as our mind and so distraught and scattered like leaves in a storm is the indwelling Buddha, the Christ and the Krishna, the indwelling true self of you. Because the thoughts are chopping up the collectiveness of your still consciousness. Have I made myself amply simple? Is there anybody who, who cannot understand, who would like to me to clarify something? Is it very clear? Okay, I take, you can just raise your hands if it's clear, raise your hands if everybody has understood what I've said because I'm going to go on to subtler, okay. So this, this is very important that if you want to have a darshan of the Lord, if you want to have a vision and a contact of your higher self, your, your, your agoides, your archetype, the indwelling spirit, you must bring your mind to a state of stillness. To drink waters from wisdom spring, our minds we must to stillness bring. Then crystal bowl of tranquil mind with gnosis fills of supernal kind. But if the very thoughts of mind be as fleeting deer and hind, such men to wisdom's ways are blind. So if the thoughts are fleeting like deer and hind, then you have to shoot them with the concentrated darts of your practice. And as one as by one they fall away, mind opens up to a new day. So it's the mind transformation that is important. And we have the techniques at your service, which is your birthright. So the first reason is that if you want a divine vision, thoughts must be still. The second reason, which is very, very interesting. It's, cons it's, it's to do with beauty, the spa, the splendor, the physical beauty even of man and woman, the stilling of the mind, arrests the aging process. The stilling of the mind arrests the aging process. How? The American Medical Association, AMA, AMA, AMA has said, <laughs> AMA says that if there is no thought in your mind, every thought in your mind creates an electrochemical process which leads to the aging process of the body. So if somehow like today, we're going to still the thought of the mind, in that moment of time, the aging process of your body will have been arrested. Take care, right? Because if there is no thought, then there will be no aging process, according to the American Medical Association. 